Welcome back students. So in this is video number two for day one of our maze coding challenge. And in this video, we're going to deal with the second part of the day one activity called challenge two. And challenge two asks you to search the internet for a simple maze that is either a JPEG or PNG file and insert it as a background into your program. So let's get started by opening up um, any internet program, any internet search engine, and let's do a search for small maze, and I'm going to look for a PNG file. So I'm going to add .png to the end of my search, just to tell the internet that that's the file format I'm looking for. When the results come up, uh, whoops, let me, uh, I'm going to change the size of my screen so y'all can see the results a little better. Um, we'll click over and make it an image search. And let's see what I like. Let's scroll down. Um, do a quick search. Just see what I like. I'm thinking this one looks pretty good. So notice that the image has this um, gray and white checkered background. That's what tells you it's a PNG. Uh, a PNG doesn't have a background. And that's good for you because it uh, takes the background of whatever, whatever it's in. So I'm going to right click on it and do save image as and call it um, small maze. And I'll save it to my desktop. Now I have that image ready to go. So let's jump back into scratch. Jump back into scratch. And this is our code at the end of challenge one. If you, um, trying to run it over for you. There you go. So if you did not finish the video for challenge one, I would go ahead and stop and do that now. And the end of challenge one, our cat was stuck inside this box. Now we have our image. Challenge two, we want to switch this box over to a maze. So I'm going to come down to my choose a backdrop and I'm going to select upload backdrop, uh, go to my desktop and find the file called small maze and open that. And it's going to open my backdrop over here for me. Um, I'm going to switch it over to a vector so that I can move it and make it bigger. All right, good. And now, um, we are ready to go. So as I'm looking, our cat is way too big for this maze. So let me click on the cat and shrink it down to maybe 20%. Let's see, is that going to be small enough? That'll probably be small enough. And I'm going to put the cat up at the beginning of the maze. Uh, no, up here it looks like it's still going to be too big. So let's take it to 15. All right, so I'm going to put the cat at the beginning of the maze. I'm going to click Run. And now I can run my cat through the maze, stopping at all the lines. All right. So simple coding. Now, the reason this is working for us is because when we coded our cat, we told it to stop anywhere it hits the color black. All right. If for some reason yours wasn't working and your cat was going through the line, uh, you may need to go back and change this color. Let's see if I can do that here. Nope. So I'm looking at the gray color here. Um, it still has enough black in it to stop the cat. So quick and easy, uh, inload, uh, upload your uh, maze picture, then go through, make your cat small enough to go through it, and you should be able to, whoops, right here the cat's too big to fit down the road. Um, so with those changes, you should be able to uh, get your cat inside of a pre-made maze and run the maze without too much difficulty. All right, guys. So uh, that wraps up the second part of challenge number one. And as always, if you're working on it and you have questions, let me know.